Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Karo Hono no Kokuin episode number 7 and 8 reaction. Okay, uh, the previous two episodes, um, in episode number 5, we see like it's the day of the new uh, moon and that's why, um, like you know, Zaruba, Zaruba, yeah Zaruba, I forgot his name for a second. He is like, you know, supposed to take um, Le Leon's life and we kind of got to see what it actually is and we also in the end get an explanation of what actually means by taking life so it's basically like taking like a few hours as far as i can remember it was like a few hours of one's life uh or something and by the calculations of it it's not much like if like you know it's probably like you would probably lose one maximum two years of your life if you're like supposed to die a natural death at 80 is you'll be dying at 78 or something not nothing much so like i thought it was it was going to be like half of your life is going to be you know like it was not like that very less amount so anyways that's that and there's this whole thing with alphonse as well where he gets to know about uh like you know who he is uh he's he's actually the you know one of uh the ancestors not ancestors sorry uh successors of uh the makai knight the golden makai knight you know who had two sis uh, like you know two children one was anna who is um uh what's this? leon's leon's mom and another is esmeralda who never knew that she is like you know like she is like a successor to the makai knights she never knew about that and she is the queen now so that's how like you know like they are cousins you know leon and um uh, alphonse so she got he got to know about that and now we also meet a new character lucifer and his makai armor gaia so both of them like you know like now they're going to like you know he's going to train uh, alphonse and we got like into a situation where there was like this horror as well you know and they like you know dealt with it we saw uh, how strong gaia is at that moment he's a defense makai knight and uh, yeah that was basically the that episode the next episode we are like you know we have shifted to um leon oh and there's another thing another big information came out uh the place where they go to when this whole like you know eat like you know taking of life happens is a place where uh like you know past present and future all is like you know entangled at the same time so he leon actually made his uh grandfather you know, the like in the previous makai arm who had the golden makai armor and uh, yeah that was that another like the next episode we uh, shift to leon and uh Ehrman's perspective again where um we are in santa barda and there was like this situation with this dad and you know him losing his son and you know because of that the horror actually took advantage of it and started like you know possessing him and he started killing other people without even knowing and um yeah like that was that and like you know it, it was a very like what can i say like it, it really showed like you know airman like you know airman who is also a father here you know i'm pretty sure he was uh like you know more what can i say you know not affected i wouldn't say that but he he like you know saw this situation in a more like you know he, he could uh, sympathize with him like and you can say that uh but you know by the end of it Ehrman was the one who actually defeated him and uh yeah it was sad you know but nothing you can do about it and there we get to know like a new information that um you know like mendoza is actually doing all of these things they are like making this nice exam whoever wins they are getting experimented on by hollow uh, horrors and in the end we get like a little scene of mendoza and that other guy that other guy was like oh a horror a hor horror has been has died so i'll deal with the person who is doing this that was it that's where it ended so let's start with this episode this is episode number um seven of garo uh, hono no kokuin so i'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here thank you to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one Go. What the? Oh wow, yeah, that's why he's Hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I definitely understand that. 
Hmm? That's a little. Oh, it's a gift. <laughs> eh. Boy. All right. <clears throat> so okay so i'm guessing like both leon and alphonse are going to do their individual training and you know become capable enough to use their respective makai armor and like leon also does need a little bit of training because you know like there's times he actually loses control but with zaruba with him i doubt that's going to happen in the f future uh but still i guess he needs to get more accustomed to using the armor and alphonse as well like he 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 doesn't even have the armor with him now like you know that's why um i think he needs more training because at least like leon is getting like practical experience experience now like you know because he's using that armor but for alfonso that's not the case um so yeah anyways let's see hmm. okay thorough beast oh okay Oh no, what's happening? Yeah. Oh, this guy. Oh no. Okay, well, um... What? Oh wait, did they realize that's actually Alfonso? Yeah. Hmm. Oh wait. Okay, wait, are they like Is this really Alfonso or is this Leon's? This is Leon's. Yeah, like wait, the, the lady made a mistake. This is not Alphonse, so it's Leon. Oh my god. How can you mistake the two of them? I guess they kind of look the same, but... Like, you know, their hair color and everything? Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, that's what happened. That's why that guy was like, oh, it's not Alfonso, but at least it's a Makai, Makai knight. Okay, okay. Now I understand. Oh boy, here we go. Alright. Yep, now you can fight them, you know, because they are not humans. Wait, what? Who the hell was that? 
that look like yeah because he's a horror i'm guessing whoa wait he's also what he's also a makai knight oh boy wait so that means not not all makai knights fight against horror this guy's fighting with horrors or maybe this is something else it does look like a makai armor so Oh wait, so I was under the impression that all Makai Knights fight against horror, so I'm guessing this is an exception. Oh boy. Yeah, he's still not ready, you know, he doesn't have enough training. Not accustomed, oh my god. Oh, wait, oh my god, he reverted back. Um, I think Emma should help out because she was she is here. There you go. <laughs> oh no! Oh my God! Damn. Okay. Uh, at least she's fine. But Leon got. Completely. Oh, okay, that was a... What the? Is this Emma's place? I think so. No, wait, what? Who the hell are you? Okay, no. What? What tainted blood? What the hell is happening? What the? What is happening here? Oh my god, what? Is this a dream or something? What is happening? What? Okay, this must be a dream. I... Oh my god. There you go. That was a very weird dream. Okay, I think this is Emma's place now. Like, like. No, who the? Who? Who? Oh my god, what's happening? Pepe, who? Did you forget? Oh no! Why are they calling him Pepe? What is this? Okay.
Wait, so are there like vampires here as well? Like, like there's werewolves here. Okay, so they're mistaking him for someone else. Why are they calling him Pepe? Wait, what? Harlequin. <clears throat> okay, this is a weird place. What is this? All the people are... What the hell is this? Pipe Piper of Hamelin? Like, what? Why is he here? Like, he's, I think he's like in a different part of the... Or... Oh my god! Who the hell is this? Looks like... Look at his eyes! What, what's with his eyes? Oh my god, this episode, this is... Okay, something's going on here. Oh, he, she's not happy about that. Uh, okay, wait, what? Um, who is Pep? <laughs> wait, is she also making the same? No, she did not recognize him at first. So. Oh my god, this episode. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Wait! Are they supposed to be siblings? What? What's happening here? Or maybe it's just that he calls him brother. I guess that's that's what it is. I mean, that's most probably it. Yeah. yeah, that's most probably it. Like he just calls him big brother. He's like, oh my god, baby. <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem here. Oh great, he, she's like, ah, I can manipulate him. Hmm. Okay, I wonder why did he end up here? Like, he was in Santa Bar. Okay. Okay. Who the? Wow, everyone's Pepe.
yep something related to horror is happening here that's i'm pretty sure like everyone's pretty sure about it I'm... Ooh. oh okay he remembered everything i think ocean of dreams No ties you into a dream. Oh wait. So is this the real Pepe? Oh I think so, yeah. That is the real Pepe. It's most probably a horror. The daughter of my close alchemist friend. Barber. Oh, okay. Barber was a werewolf. Okay. All right, all right. I've got the behind the under. Oh. Traveling entertainers. Wait, what? What what is this? What? Oh my god, you Oh my god Wait like who gives you that that right to Oh god Yeah. Okay, whatever. <coughs> okay, so what is happening here? This 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 thing is a horror? Like this it looks like a rat. That thing which was trying to kill the priest. Oh boy. Ah, uh, makes sense. All right, okay. Great. Okay, that's why she was okay. Ah, uh, shut up. You know very m well. Wait. So. <sighs> no, I don't think he's part of that group. Like. Oh no. Oh my god. Yep, this is a horror. Up, oh, there you go. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh, the delays. Okay. Yep. Ah. Uh. Oh, this is where it begins.
Okay, well... Oh, yeah, he is fast, my god. Oh! Oh, okay, he got it. That was quite easy. Uh, that's not a werewolf. Okay, whatever. <laughs> oh boy. Well. Okay, so I guess when he got unconscious, he was brought here by like, who? Like th that old man probably brought. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Wait, what the? <laughs> you saying such a serious thing and then this is okay, what we see. <laughs> Wow, okay. Like, he was saying such a serious thing, you know? He was like, yeah, like, you know, I won't lend you my power now. You have to do it on your own. And then we see... <laughs> okay. Alright, that was an interesting episode. Like, <laughs> I was like, you know, half... Like, the first part of the episode, I was like, what is even happening here? Like, how did he get there, this, that, and then I'm like, okay. So I'm guessing he, he probably got, like, taken to, like, an other part of the Sandabad. Or was it, like, a completely different village? Like, that portion I don't understand. Like, so, how, like, he was unconscious. I'm, I'm guessing the old man found him and brought him to his place. Is that what happened? I guess. All right. That is this episode. Okay, so here in the beginning, we get to see that Evan, as always, is getting ready to get some information, you know? <laughs> oh, no. And, okay, and Leon was on the run from that, ma like, you know, Makai Night. Now, okay, here's another thing that like up until now, like you know, I was under the impression that oh, like Makai Knights are like they themselves also tell it in the beginning of the episode, all the episodes, that Makai Knights are the people who fight against these horrors. Now, like the guy, the guy who was fighting with Leon, he he he's wearing he you know he transformed into a Makai Knight in the later part of the battle. So my question here is like first of all is that even like a makai armor or is that something completely different like it did look like a makai armor you know like you know the armor that he was wearing it was a little bit um you know like there was like this purplish aura coming out of him kind of uh like you know sh probably like you know indicating that oh he's like the dark uh, like you know like you know like dark energy is probably like you know in his body or something it's, it's probably indicative of that but it like you know his armor did look like a makai armor so if like, like my, my question is is that really a makai armor and if that is a makai armor then would that mean that there are makai knights who like you know the like makai knights are supposed to fight against horrors but there are makai knights who fight with the horrors 
like for example this guy not against them like that's that's like the question that like because all every episode you know in the beginning of every episode they kind of explain that oh makai knights are beings who fight against horrors but then is this guy like an exception or something or maybe his makai armor got tainted with some dark force or something that's why it's like like this or i don't know or something like that now i do wonder like this is one thing i've always thought about you know? uh like i've been thinking about like these couple of episodes we are seeing how uh Arman is telling leon that oh you should not like you know uh like you know harbor negative feelings for example jealousy revenge you know anger these things can actually uh like you know make you a target for horror now i never thought about this uh normal people if they like you know harbor these feelings like very strong feelings as we are seeing in the past couple of episodes even in this episode you know like horrors target them and they kind of become like this like, you know they, they become the horror themselves so uh erman was telling the same thing to leon as well so i'm guess i'm, I'm wondering what would happen if a uh, horror actually tried to um you know like uh, what can i say like tried to get inside a uh, makai knight for example leon here you know uh, arman is still telling him not to harbor these negative feelings so if someday he becomes affected by these negative feelings and kind of goes out of control in that department will a horror come and you know uh, take over his body and what will happen after that is this what is going to happen as we see here we can see like a makai knight here that guy who leon was fighting with he was controlling horrors so is this what is going to happen you know like that person will continue to be a makai knight but at the same time they will be like a horror because this is the only explanation that is coming to my mind because this guy looks like a makai knight but at the same time he's controlling horrors so i'm guessing that's what happens if a makai knight gets like you know uh taken over by a horror or maybe something else happened i don't know but yeah here we can see like this like as this, this in this uh, you know man anyway, this is the first time we see a makai knight at, or at least a person who has like you know he's wearing an armor like that fighting like, with horrors you know and uh, controlling them but yeah anyways okay so <clears throat> that was that all right the next part we see uh like you know like they, they're fighting and everything and obviously my uh, uh leon is not strong enough to you know handle him and emma tries to help him out but unfortunately is unable to because the ring that she used to kind of you know tug him out of that situation <laughs> that got destroyed and he just got <laughs> you know, thrown away to like a different part of the uh, town and <clears throat> now here's the thing i don't know where the hell he fell down to but he went unconscious and then he when he woke up first of all he was seeing the weird dream of like you know uh like people trying to like you know kill him and he was like a werewolf or something and then he wakes up in this weird place where there's this guy and there's this girl who calls him brother pepe now <clears throat> I mean, here's the thing. Um, first of all, at the beginning, I was very confused. I was like, "What is happening? Why?" First of all, why is he here? Second, like, what is even like you know, what's up with this place? You know, did he like get transported here or something? And then there's this weird people, like you know, like there's this church with some weird people. There's this weird shady, um, like you know, a lady there, and then there's this weird shady uh, church priest. And then there's this weird shady a uh, harlequin, I think that's what they call him, with the with the mask that he's wearing. Like all weird people. The children were also kind of like, you know, out of their like, you know, senses because they were kind of acting a little bit weird. Because they were just following the guy. <laughs> I don't know. And like 
like I was like, what is happening? And then like it starts to actually make sense little by little. Like so, we get to know that Pepe is, um, you know, he that Leon. Leon also like you know lost his memory. So Leon, everyone's calling Leon Pepe, and the lady, the church lady, she was uh, pretty afraid as soon as he heard the name Pep. She heard the name Pepe. Now I understand why. At the beginning, she was afraid because she knew that Pepe is supposed to be, you know, like was supposed to become a horror, or he's she's either dead or something happened to him. She knew, and because they are the ones who I'm guessing transported Pepe to like you know, uh, somewhere else, and um, they know. So suddenly hearing that oh Pe this is Pepe, she got scared of, of that situation. But then when, uh, you know, like Leon comes and tells her that I'm not Pepe, who am I? The lady was like, oh, so this is not Pepe. And then there was this smirk on, on her face. She's like, oh, if this is not Pepe, then yeah, we should also probably sell him as well. I'm guessing that's what she was planning. <coughs> that's like she kind of smirked at that situation. And she was like, uh, yeah, this and that, like, you know, to told him some stuff. And... Uh, they go like you know like um uh, the guy not guy sorry um <clears throat> uh what's his name leon leon goes back now <clears throat> after coming back he realizes that you know like after seeing his the sword he realizes that yeah this guy is a makai alchemist everything probably comes back to him at that moment um most probably after seeing that sword like you know it, it kind of jogged his memory and he he was like what's up with you you know why are you doing this and the guy tells him that uh i mix something in the medicine okay it erases your memory and hypnotizes into a dream and he is like i did this for agatha agatha is the daughter of my close alchemist friend after she gave birth to her husband died and she got remarried to a barber uh, the barber's son was pepe and they grew close together but five years ago and there was a rumor that the barber was a werewolf and both of the parents died were murdered by vigilantes older brother hid agatha behind the roof ran out of the house and there was a rumor of troop of traveling entertainers that took him away and uh, yeah and then like you know he took in agatha and started living with her and that's why she he did this because he apparently wanted um agatha to i don't know like live a you know happy life by you know like having a fake brother which is supposed to be him and he thought that oh that's good like you know like that that's a good idea like bring a person random person from the like you know street and make him into the brother and i'm pretty so basically what happened so he he brought him here i'm guessing okay um yeah he's saying like things will be easier yeah 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 he said he it, it's it's not properly mentioned whether he was the one who brought him i think i guess he is the one who brought him here uh like you know he just says that oh you came here after losing a battle didn't you like you'll be at peace if you forget about that and all that stuff so like so wait what happened like did he like suddenly saw that oh like leon is sprawled uh, like you know on the ground unconscious and he was like ah you know what let's bring this guy to back to our home and make him the new pepe so that agatha is able to live happily is that what he thought and he just i'm guessing he just brought him to that place like there's a few things that's not making sense actually number one how far did he got like you know thrown like you know like I, we did see like that like you know like when when uh, uh, Emma was trying to bring um, Leon out of that situation she did pull it hardly and like you know since the the, the string got cut because the the other guy you know he shot the string you know obviously there was like a huge force that she pulled it and that's why it kind of he kind of got yeeted out of that whole place and even though even though he got like you know like thrown out of that place how far did he go that there like these are the things that I'm not understanding. Number one, what was this place that he was in? Is this like a place in Santa Bart or is this like a completely different place? 
That's number one. I don't understand. If this is like a place in Santa Barbara, I would be like, all right, that makes sense because you know, like obviously, like you know, this guy, this guy who brought Leon, he he probably dragged him here. You know, he was unconscious up until like you know up until that time. So if this was a place far from Santa Barbara, I don't think it would be possible for this old man to bring Leon to that distance. So if this was like a part place in Santa Barbara that this whole situation was happening. I would understand. I would be like, all right, it makes sense. He just, I'm guessing he kind of dragged him from one place to another. It will be a short distance. Um, another thing, like, as I said, how far did he even get thrown out? Like, it, it seemed like, like, no one was even there. Like, I was seeing the whole scenario and everything. Like, you know, there was like little houses. It looked like a village. You know, and then there was this, like, church. I, I don't know. It did not look like Santa Barbara. That's why I'm kind of confused here. Like... Like these are like the question and like uh, <laughs> yeah like like how did uh, Erman didn't even run across him if this was actually Santa Bart it would make sense if this was not Santa Bart that's why Erman never like you know ran across him or something I don't know like these that's like the question that's I'm, I'm kind of having like what even happened like you know how far did he get thrown off where where is this place and all that stuff but anyways um <clears throat> yeah he like you know he then says that and leon is like all right like you know he, he goes to the church and that's what i'm it, it did not click to me like i did not i wasn't able to put like you know like the situation together when he said like traveling troop of entertainers i should have like you know realized that oh he was talking about that guy that harlequin guy and that means ah these guys are also connected you know the the church guy and the um the sister like i didn't i wasn't able to understand that at that moment but uh, like you know i'm guessing leon understood that that's why he rushed back to the church and that's when when she was explaining that oh you guys are the like you know ch child traffickers aren't you that's when it clicked i was like oh so that's what's happening all right it took me a while to actually <clears throat> put the two things together but it makes sense you know like these people were actually doing this business and um uh, pepe he he was like a victim and we saw like you know after that we see the little flashback where pepe was like you know beaten and like you know treated miserably he probably killed one of the guys and you know that negative feeling spiraled out of control a horror took like you know control of him and now he is here in that harlequin you know outfit with the mask uh, trying to take revenge on all the people <clears throat> and uh, yeah that's why he killed the i guess the priest and uh. anyway zion comes in he defeats pepe or the horror pepe whatever and yeah that was like uh, one thing i can see here like it's it's very easy to defeat horrors nah, like not like you know these normal horrors like but the high level horrors i'm guessing it's difficult but these horrors for example pepe here even in one of the previous episode um like you know like we can see like you know whenever he wears the armor the suit the golden armor he he's very easily able to defeat them uh obviously there are exceptions because the guy we saw you know in this episode uh he did say like oh you're weak but yeah like for to battle him i'm guessing uh uh, Leon needs more training and more practice uh, but yeah other than that the normal horrors and everything he can barely like he can just like you know one or two shot every horror like here as well like we see the first thing that he he, he was very fast he was like oh he, this guy is very fast I need to change my strategy he then like you know, was kind of easily able to defeat Pepe uh, that re I guess that's that really shows how strong this golden armor is so yeah that like like that's why like you know even like an amateur complete amateur like not complete amateur i would say but leon still like you know leon is like you know learning to use this even he could like one or two shot horrors that's how strong i guess the makai armor is or something i don't know anyways um so yeah that that was that and what else and here like you know like and then we see like he comes back santa bard i guess or you know what i think this is like a, a, a probably like one of the like you know secluded places in santa bard 
I was saying like I thought like this place was like a completely different village or something because the houses the kind of structure and everything it looked different and it, it looked like a very barren place that's why I was like oh Santa Bar is like a very congested city so is this like a different place but now that I'm looking watching the final scene we can see like there's a bridge and then we can see like you know the houses there I can again see like there's a lot of houses and it's very populated so maybe the place where they live are like a little barren or something like that's what I was actually confusing me I was like like this place doesn't look like Santa Bard but I guess it is actually Santa Bard there he was probably in, in like as like a different place in Santa Bard like the, the city is huge I'm guessing so that's probably what happened so I'm guessing he wo walked back to the place where you know like I'm guessing where they're, they're supposed to stay the, the inn or whatever where they're like you know renting and <laughs> and Erman is there Erman is like oh I <clears throat> you know you're like I heard that you lost and I won't lend you my strength for now so you need to train and then we see him just standing there naked and he's like ah son I need some money <laughs> just, you know, just throw some money on his face <laughs> uh, my god that's that's funny <laughs> so yeah that's how it ends um <clears throat> all right let's see the next one this was that was episode number seven so all right let's start episode number eight so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles on the time i here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go <clears throat> oh yeah this guy is the black knight okay okay yeah yeah makes sense all right all right oh my god <laughs> wait did i start the wrong episode Or is this like a still recap? Did I start a wrong? No, this is not this is not the same episode because we saw okay. What is happening? Okay, I'm getting confused. Oh my god, is, is this did I like? No, I did not make a mistake because in the beginning we saw the guy, the Black Knight again. Oh my god, it's a different episode. Yeah, there you go. Wait, what? <laughs> All right, huh. culprit is whom? What? Oh. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> oh my god this guy oh my god the first portion i was really confused i was like what happened what's happening why are we seeing the same thing and <laughs> i was like did i start the wrong episode or something like and yeah Alright, so I'm guessing this episode we are going to see like see what happened during that portion, you know, when um Dion was having his own problems with the werewolf. I'm guessing this episode we're going to see what was happening with um what's his name? Airman. Because it started in the same place 
And now we're seeing Erman's like you know perspective. All right. <clears throat> I don't know why, but this song really reminds me of One Punch Man's opening. Is this, are this like the same people who made that song? One Punch, One Punch Man's opening? I don't know. I, feel, I always get reminded me of One Punch Man's opening. <laughs> Let's keep going home. Oh my god. Yeah, so this is, we're going to see stuff from his perspective now. What the? Um. 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 What the hell? Um, <laughs> it's a dilemma. Donato. Um, okay, well. Oh, are these horrors? Oh, oh or maybe not. <laughs> yeah, 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 they're not horrors. <laughs> and he can fight them because he's a Makai. Oh my god. <laughs> That's why he's like, yeah, you guys are too much for me. Irene. I Irene or Irene? Hmm. Okay, it makes okay. Like I was in. The, okay, I'll talk about it later. Oh no, maybe this girl is a horror or something. Like he did not check her. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my god. Now that's harassment. <laughs> I I'm I'm kind of suspecting her to be a horror actually. I don't know why. Um. Um. Okay. Well. Ah. Uh! There, I knew something was going on. <laughs> okay, she's not a horror, but yeah, I was a little bit suspicious of. Her. I was thinking she was a horror, but there you go. <laughs> well, you got what you deserved, Ryman.
they wouldn't do that. Um, what the hell? <laughs> um, oh, <laughs> oh my God, yo. <laughs> Um <laughs> run 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 <laughs> Oh my god yo he's gonna get arrested He's gonna get arrested <laughs> Yep Yeah exactly He's still wandering around there you go <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is okay. This is <sighs> wow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wait, what? The... Wait, did it drop it? Oh no, it's still with him. What? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yo, yo, yo! Oh no! Damn. <laughs> oh boy <laughs> wait what <laughs> what oh my god are they going to steal his I think so because he was naked when he when Leon found him. What the? Oh wow, great! They have horses. <laughs> he got... Wait, what? Why did he? <laughs> What? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh boy, oh my god, yo, where's some, okay. Yeah, he doesn't know about it. Bernardo Dion. Okay, he knows him. What is missing? Yeah. Does not have. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, is this that that girl again? Yeah. I forgot. Oh my. Wait, you you're supposed to wear some. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Mendoza. Wavering. Okay, so probably knows him personally, this Bernardo. There you go. I was just talking about this. In the previous episode, like what happens when a Makai Knight gets a horror? I guess a horror inside them, like. Oh, wait. Is it the past? Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so they were like friends. Hmm. Going against. Oh boy. Ah! Oh, too off guard. But there was truth to his words, I'm guessing. He was saying, like, there's times when I feel like. Oh my god. So this is what. Okay. Wait, then why? Oh, most probably. I was like, why did he? Okay, I'll talk about it later. Okay, so I was wondering why did he become like this evil person? I'm guessing probably Anna, we saw Anna got captured and got burnt in state. But then, was that the reason why he, the hollow affected him or something and he, he's like this now? Oh my god. Oh no, no, this happens before. Okay. I was thinking he became. Uh... Oh, wait, is he going to attack them? Oh, maybe that's what he does. That's why he fell, as, as Leon says. Not Leon, sorry, Erman says.
Mm. Oh my god. He's still... Who the? Oh, this girl. Oh, are they like trying to? No, no, maybe they're trying to get her. Yeah, they're probably after her, calling her a witch or something. Oh my god. Wait. Okay, okay. Oh, there he is. Pawn shot. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, the Makai armor. <laughs> oh. There you go. Okay, so is he the only one who became a monster or, or the other guy as well? Oh, yeah, they were doing negative stuff. True. <laughs> um... Oh, great. <laughs> what? <laughs> the wolf? <laughs> oh, oh my god, the wolf. Great. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and that's now he meets. <laughs> wow, so many things happened in this. <laughs> uh. Oh, great. Hmm. Yeah, and I need some clothes. Clothes. <laughs> Leon's. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah. We see both their perspective now. And, ah, uh, great. <laughs> oh my God, this was a funny episode. All right, so now I was, I'm thinking something. This Bernardo guy, I think that was what he, his name was. Um, when they were showing the whole scene, the past, I was thinking, maybe, like, we, we already know that Anna was burnt, you know, and Hermans, like, you know, saved the kid, which is Leon, after she gave birth. So, we know that. I thought that, okay, maybe, like, you know, because of that, he became, like, uh, like you know, in, like, the horror got into him. Because, you know, the negative feelings. But then, like, you know, I realized that, no, he was also present in that situation, I think. He was beside Mendoza, wasn't he? 
So I was like, okay, so that's not what happened, I guess. Because he was already there in that moment. So that means he's already, you know, the horror already got to him at that moment. So now the question is, that's the end. Now the question is, so then why did he become, uh, now I'm not sure if he actually became a horror or what happened, but Leon used a term here. He said he fell. So, like, I'm wondering how did he fall? That scene, the last scene that we see with him, it seems as if something happened after that. So I'm guessing, like, he also said something before, you know, that uh, scene where he says, like, there are times when I feel like doing something which a Makai Knight isn't supposed to do. One of the things a Makai Knight isn't supposed to do is killing humans, isn't it? So I'm guessing that scene, the last scene that we see with Bernardo, you know, when he says like, oh, I'm going to take care of this, you guys run away, stops them, stalls them, but he's, you know, very, you know, tired and everything. And then they show us, that was the scene that we last see of him. I'm guessing, did he attack them? Like, was that what happened? And is that the reason why he fell, as like you know, Airman says? Maybe. So if that is really what happened, and this is just a guess, but if that is really what happened, then it would explain what would happen if um, Makai Knights or Makai Alchemists actually attacked uh, humans, you know, which they are not supposed to do. They they'll probably be uh like you know like become like a horror or something like that is going to occur i don't know maybe and they're going to fall like you know like falling from gay grace or something like that i'm guessing like how you know like i don't know like you know yeah that's that's probably um so i'm 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 sure they're going to explain this to us and maybe in the future but i'm just trying to guess what might have happened but yeah all right the first part of the episode i was extremely confused i was like what is happening did i start the wrong episode or something why are we getting the same thing and then i realized that oh this is supposed to be an episode which we're going to see from Emma's perspective and uh, yeah so what happens in the beginning is like all right uh th that lady the girl with that she was with she says something about like oh like armored soldiers are just like you know fussing over like a, a witch or something and she's like um we are <clears throat> you know like uh, like uh, I'm, I'm thinking like maybe we are also going to get uh, affected by this maybe they're going to blame us this and that and we're not talking about that so that was that and airman comes out <laughs> the morning He's just walking and then this girl comes in irene and <laughs> like i don't know why but i suspected her for being a horror at the beginning because she was like you know very suspicious the way she was doing stuff you know and <laughs> like the whole situation he like <laughs> like first of all the thing that really made me suspicious is like she took her him to like a shed that's like the f <laughs> that's the first thing that really surprised me. I'm like, wait a minute, is this girl actually a horror? Is she trying to <laughs> like you know like actually like you know trap him or something? Like what what's 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 up with her? Like why would she take him like you know like to a shed like for like like out of all places? But I guess that was like a shed or something. I don't know probably and. Now, I guess, like, you know, like, after seeing this scene, like, I was just talking about this in the previous episode. I was saying, like, oh, maybe the, the place where Leon went to, I was thinking maybe that was, like, in a place different from Santa Bart. Because the scenery and the, like, you know, there was, like, wooden houses and everything, not that much, like, you know, uh, populated. And the whole, like, you know, place made me think that, oh, maybe this is out of Santa Bart. Because Santa Bart is, like, you know, this, like, a lot of houses, like, you know, like, clinging on to each other like it's so congested and everything so i was thinking like oh maybe it is something someplace other than santa bar but in this episode as i see that shed that she brought uh, ermen into 
I was like, okay, so this, like, you know, this scene also makes me think, like, oh, this is someplace else. Because, you know, there's, like, one singular shed and there's, like, some, like, you know, grass and some fields. So, now I, like, you know, now I can, I probably can, like, you know, like, understand that the previous episode as well, it was most probably in Santa Bar as well. Maybe a place like this, like, you know, a little bit. A little bit in the side of the Santa Bar where things are not as congested because the houses in Santa Bar is like one house it's like another house is just like five or six centimeter apart that's basically like the whole thing with Santa Bar you know like one house after the other and this like extremely populated congested and uh, but this scene we see like it's like a singular house with nothing so yeah it was probably in Santa Bar as well the previous episode maybe some place in the corner where it's not as heavily congested as the mid part of the city but anyways like that's a different thing all right so yeah he brings her like not he sorry she brings him to the shed and <clears throat> the way she was acting I was, I was like i was very convinced that she was a horror like i there was like you know like i was thinking like oh maybe she's a horror or something and <laughs> then those guys come in and I'm, I, I'm like, oh, so this is what is happening. Okay, I understand. So basically she was like, she, I guess she does things like this, you know, like, um, it's like, they're, they're like a group. She, uh, makes people fall into a trap, gets everything from him. <laughs> and then these people like, you know, show up, they beat the person up and they get everything, you know, sell them for money. That's probably what happens. <laughs> All right, and <clears throat> yeah, like she takes her his clothes and money as well. And Arman is like, you know what? Take my money. Just leave my clothes with me. And even they were like, no, I, we won't do that. And those guys were like, ah, I'm going to like you know, uh, fight you. And they were not horrors, you know. Like interesting thing we should note here, which is. Um, first of all, the scene when we saw in the beginning where those three guys were there, he already checked them if there were any of them were horrors or not. Now, here's what I think what happened. Just a second. Where is that? Now, I don't know. This might be, a, this is a guess and, you know, it might be completely wrong, but what actually happened here, like, as I said, like, you know, the first scene, they were not horrors. No, he already checked them this scene we see them come in and you know there's that like fight that happened and irene was also there and uh like you know not irene sorry irene <clears throat> and like you know Armand runs away from there yeah okay this scene i i can understand what happened i'm guessing the guy you know the the one with the the, the yellow hair you know he like you know when when <laughs> When Erman says, like, you know, like, stands in front of Irene, and he's like, oh, that was a good kiss, and he runs away, the guy is like, oh, I'll kill him. I'm guessing here's where the negative emotion starts, like, you know, festering within him. Probably jealousy. Now, that's probably why after this scene, you know, later on when we see Irene was, like, you know, there, like, you know, like, scared, he's like, oh, he turned into a monster. That's why I'm guessing he turned into a, a horror because of the festering negative emotion that we saw, you know, in this guy, like he was a little bit better from the beginning, even when we saw him in the beginning, you know, um, he was like, oh, these type of handsome men, like are usually like, you know, like stuff like that, he was saying, you know, and like, and there's like this negative thing within him, we I kind of like, you know, saw, and probably this, this whole situation made him more jealous about the like you know thing and he was like oh i'm going to kill him and the negative emotion spiraled out of control the horror probably got him after this that's why in the beginning there was no horror within him but after this scene later on when he meets him again he was this horror because it happened after he checked him this is a guess completely i might be wrong but i feel like that's what's probably happened because like that's how what it is hinting here anyways so yeah he runs away from that situation and all the guards are like oh like catch that guy obviously he's running buck naked through like a, a city and 
and yeah and, and there's this random girl like you know like doing some laundry i think he he was like oh i i i'm, I'm borrowing this <laughs> and he like you know the girl almost got like you know shot by the arrow he he catches that arrow and he's like Oh, and then he runs away. Wait, another thing I'm seeing here. The guards say something. Just a sec. It's talking about a witch. Okay, now. Okay, the guards come in. They're like, don't kill him. We have to capture him and make him tell us where the witch is. And... Erman is like, what do you mean by which? Now, this this portion I really did not pay attention much, but now that I'm looking at this, yeah, who are they talking about? What witch? Like the the previous night he was with that girl, you know that that girl, the one we saw in the beginning, and definitely they're not definitely not talking about Irene. Neither this girl that we are seeing here, you know, the laundry girl, not her as well. So are they talking about that girl? So that girl was a uh... no. Oh no no no. Maybe no. Oh maybe they're talking about Emma or or is it someone else? Like Erman himself was also confused. He's like, what what are they saying? I don't know. But anyways, uh, let's move on. I'm sure we'll get to know. I'm guessing they're probably talking about Emma because who else would they call a witch? Like they they basically call Makai alchemists witches, so I'm guess I'm guessing that's what happened. Anyways, he tries to run away. There's this random kid just like you know, takes his <laughs> the sh the laundry sheet or whatever away from him. Emma comes in. He helps Erman out there, and it's interesting how he actually stops. She actually stops them. She did not directly attack them. She just like you know made like a little rope thing shot that and they tripped on their own so like i guess that's like a loophole like you know where she directly didn't attack them and just uses used the string to trip them so like you know that's their fault because they did not see the string i guess <laughs> oh boy something like that interesting way to fight you know like because they she cannot like you know attack them directly she's doing stuff like this like, you know this is how she gets out of situation you know making traps i guess because i guess even though you know she made the trap it's actually the fault of the person falling into the trap because they're not like you know uh, <laughs> paying attention enough like i'm guessing this is kind of works as a loophole to get out of the situation of not attacking the character the different people but using the environment or the situation making traps to stop them <laughs> okay And another thing, I, I like, you know, the, the, the scene where um, Leon was also fighting with those, like, you know, you know, th those three thugs. I guess Leon actively did not attack them, didn't he? Yeah, interesting to see this. Like, you know, he kind of dodged and, like, you know, used the ladder to kind of stop them and then ran away. Like, here again, like, you know, like, it's very, like, you know, what can I say? Like, I, I feel like this whole thing of... You know, like, they can attack me, but I cannot do anything to them. I understand the whole thing about being a protector, but I feel like this this is very disadvantageous to them, aren't they? Like, they, they basically have to just sit there, like, you know, getting, like, you know, like, attacked on, from one side, and they can't do anything to them. Like, that's very disadvantageous. So, he, like, small little, like, you know, brawls, they even can't get into that. You know, little fist fights and everything, nothing. <laughs> Oh my god. But yeah. All right, anyways, um Okay, now here's where um what, what's her name? Emma. Emma talks about um Leon to him, says that oh, you're having quite fun while Leon is in trouble, and he's like what happened? And she she says like Bernardo, I think that was the name. Um where is it? Black Knight. Yes. Bernardo Dion, there you go. And that's where Herman is like, you know, there's like a Herman realized something. He goes to the that girl, I forgot her name, the girl who you know, it's like the, the white haired girl. And he's like, Why didn't you not say anything about him? 
and she's like oh you would have like you know understood either way like and then that's this is where he asks like uh so he fell and so i'm guessing that's what he means by fell i'm guessing he also became like like i was just talking about this in the previous episode i was saying like what would happen if a makai knight got negative emotions in them and the horror got to them i'm guessing this is what's going to happen you know, they, they they're going to fall you know they would still have their makai armor i'm guessing but they would become like this hall of like you know horror fights you know thing like <laughs> this like this is a like, completely different thing i'm talking about like you know i'm going a little bit out of topic <laughs> i always like you know like miss like misspeak and tell like uh, like you know kind of refer to them as hollows because you know like bleach if you've seen bleach they, like hollow you know the, there's the, that whole thing with in bleach hollows and these are horrors so like <laughs> a lot of times i actually miss like you know misspeak and just like you know refer to them as hollow and then i realized like no this is not bleach this is something else this is horrors not hollow and <laughs> you know they're kind of a similar thing you know like in you know bleach as well hollows were this type of a thing and and it's been a while i've watched bleach i forgot everything but anyways <laughs> that was off topic but yeah all right we get back to uh flashback not a flashback a recollection here where we see anna uh, bernardo and uh leon uh, not leon sorry arman who like you know or roberto as they like you know bernardo called him all three of them were friends now like here's like you know as soon as i saw this scene there was a multiple situations kind of like you know going through my head number one i thought because you know, this was going to be that type of situations where both of them like the same girl and Leon gets, uh, not Leon, Ehrman gets her, that's why he probably becomes envious and that's why he became a ho horror or something. I thought this was a thing which could have happened. Like, and as soon as I saw that scene of three of them, you know, that's where the first thing that my mind went. But we see like this whole situation is a lot different. It was not like that. Um, I'm guessing uh, Bernardo knew that Leon already, like not Leon, why I'm calling him Leon. Ehrman, Ehrman liked, you know, like Anna and you know like he, he was kind of smiling looking at them so that was not a problem you know that's not why it happened that's like you know i realized that very soon and you know they were fighting sparring everything now then my mind went to a different thing i was like okay so if this is not the problem is this is like you know like a negative emotions make them become this thing that's why i thought jealousy was probably the thing that made him like that at the beginning but then as soon as i saw like you know him smiling looking at them i was like no that's not what happened i guess like he he's pretty accepting of both of their relationships so, so that's definitely not what happened so then i thought what could have happened then my when mind went to another thing i was like wait a minute anna got captured and killed you know so maybe that's what made him become this like you know like this evil like you know like thing in negative emotions came into him and he fell because of that you know uh but then i realized like no he was with mendoza during that time i guess so that's also not what happened. Like I was thinking, like how did he become a person like this? How did he f fall? You know. And okay, then the next scene we see, like you know, they're you know, trying to run away. Like uh, Anna was being accused of being a witch, and they get injured. Uh, Erman gets injured. You know, like and uh, Bernardo is like, "You guys go ahead. I'm going to stall for time here." and then we see him like you know actually like panting like unable to like you know keep up with the whole thing There's a lot of people just surrounding him and he's like you know this is where i realized that what happens so basically this is just a guess so i'm guessing he attacked them you know because he said something before as well he said something about sometimes i feel like doing something that makai knights aren't supposed to do which is not attack the people and i'm guessing that's what he did even during that situation you know he probably attacked those soldiers and that's why he fell so i don't know these are all guesses now we get back to the real world like you know the present scene again um Ehrman goes back to that shed to find his clothes i don't know what he expected did he expect the clothes to just fall stay lying there <laughs> but he went there either way and you know like here we meet irene again and she's like oh like you know that that guy has gone crazy he's become a monster 
and as i said so i'm guessing he because of jealousy of that scene that previous scene you know he got jealous and that's why he became a horror after that because the first time he was not a horror uh airman already checked him but anyways he's a horror now like you know he uh, airman fought him and very easily defeated him not much to say and yeah <laughs> then after a <laughs> <laughs> then in the morning he comes out and he's like then uh, then the, the same scene we see you know him waiting for leon and leon is like yeah like gives him some advice and then he's like i need some money leon throws him the purse and yeah that's where it ends ah uh, great i love these two uh, episodes these two episodes were really you know um, uh, really good like the first one uh, which was episode seven it was kind of mysterious and everything i liked that whole thing you know of like that mystery that whole werewolf part and this uh, episode was kind of hilarious i really liked it <laughs> and at the same time we get a lot of new information here so yeah anyways that was it that was my reaction to garo hono no kokuin episode number um seven and eight so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah, that was it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week with two more episodes of Karo Hono no Kuhuin. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.